What's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Super Mini YouTube. And this video right here is just me breaking down Battlefield 4 beta. I told you guys in my face cam that this beta was going to be the deciding factor of me getting Battlefield 4 instead of Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, the reason that I say this is I can only maintain one shooter. You know what I'm saying? My channel it, it's crazy. I got basketball. I got Let's Plays. I got football. I got UFC. I'm going to have so much going on that I can only handle one shooter. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking, oh my God, I'm probably about to start uploading FPS videos. I've been uploading um, first person shooters. I've had Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I've gotten every title since then. I've played Battlefield 2. I may not have uploaded it, but I did play that game back when, you know, I wasn't really into YouTube like that. Now, when Battlefield 3 came out, my problem with Battlefield was the characters. I felt like they were entirely too small to see either, you know, from a few yards away aiming down your sight. I've had that problem. Now, Battlefield 3, I felt the same way with that. And I wanted to come back to Battlefield, but I needed to play the beta just to make sure that the characters looked real. They, they seemed realistic. When I aimed down sights, it felt like I could hit them. You know, it didn't take that many bullets to kill him, like whole clips. But, uh, you know, um, Call of Duty, I love the series. You know, it's pretty good. You know, it's more arcade. You like, you run around, you get kills, you knife people, you get high kill streaks, you know, death streaks, all this crazy nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Things that don't happen in real life. You feel me? That's, that's, that's the way I feel about it. Now, with Battlefield, it seems more like warfare, you know, bigger maps, more jobs to do, more features. Like... In Battlefield 2, I was always that guy fixing tanks, you know what I'm saying, fixing people, uh, Humvees and stuff like that. I love doing that. You feel me? That's what I was really into. Now, with Battlefield 4, they're saying that they're going to be taking it to the water. So, I'm really going to try to figure out, like, what's going to happen here. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys understand Battlefield 4 too much, but uh, they got something called Levolution. Now, basically, that's just you destroying a whole bunch of nonsense. Now, with Battlefield 2... I was always into that, you know what I'm saying? It used to bring out, a lot of people call it the new tube, but, you know, grenade launcher, take out a building's wall, destroy, destroy a whole building, collapse it, all types of crazy stuff. I was into that, but like I said, it was that character model flaw, but now with Battlefield 4, I feel like that I can get this game. Now, uh, let me give you a few more reasons behind that. You guys can see I'm aiming down sight right now. A lot of people might call that position, you know, head glitch and stuff like that. That has nothing to do with anything. When a lot of people say, oh, man, he's head glitching. Listen, the, the people made the game that way. It's different angles. You know what I'm saying? When you look at the kill cam, obviously he saw you and you didn't see him. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? What can you do about it? But what I can say is I just want to play more realistic warfare games. Now, Call of Duty... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I might grab it, but the way it's looking right now, it's going to be the same old, same old thing from every year. You know, a lot of people have been having problems. A lot of people jumping shit because a lot of people saying that Call of Duty sounds like Star Wars because, you know, they added those audio uh, effects and stuff like that with, you know, the bullets whizzing by you and all of that. People talking about, man, it's, they sound like lasers. Some of the player models look like uh, stormtroopers and all this crazy nonsense. So I'm just cracking up, but I'm not here to bash any game. You feel me? I'm just here to point out the facts. The community itself is having problems with Call of Duty because they feel like they're not adding anything to the game. Now, yeah, they may have added something called, uh, what is it, dynamic boards or something like that, like uh, dynamic events where, you know, logs fall off if something happened. All right, so that's going to happen every time. With Battlefield, it's a different story. If you blow down a building, you blow down a building. You know what I'm saying? No, you may not have chose that building to blow down the last game, but, oh, we're going to do it this time. You know, different things happen because players choose to do it. So, all in all, I'm getting Battlefield 4 because the characters, they look bigger. It's not a flaw this time around. I feel like I'm able to kill a person and see a person more easy. So, uh, you know, that's just my thoughts. Um... When it comes to Call of Duty, I may grab it, you know what I'm saying? But if I'm having way too much fun with Battlefield 4, don't expect me to grab it. Um, as it goes for putting videos on my channel, yeah, you can expect them from time to time, but don't expect a series, you feel me? But uh, this is IKC signing out. To all my first-person shooter fans out there, I thank you guys for watching. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. 
For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.